For years, the global tech industry operated on a shared assumption, an unshakable truth. The most advanced chip technologies belonged exclusively to a handful of dominant players in Silicon Valley and East Asia. Companies like NVIDIA, Intel, Samsung, and TSMC were seen not only as leaders, but as gatekeepers to the future of artificial intelligence, high-performance computing, and global digital infrastructure. These firms held immense power, not just through innovation, but through control of the most critical hardware on which the modern world runs. That belief, however, has just been thrown into question. Something extraordinary has taken place, quietly out of sight, far from the expected centers of innovation. A development so improbable, so strategically significant, that it has left even the most seasoned engineers and executives in a state of disbelief. Deep within the shadows of the global semiconductor race, an unexpected player may have pulled off what many believed to be impossible. The creation of a functional 2 nanometer chip, reportedly developed by China's SMIC, Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation. This development would mark a monumental leap. For context, the race to build 2NM chips has consumed billions of dollars and has become the new frontier in technological competition. These chips are not merely smaller, they are exponentially more efficient, packing more transistors into a single chip than ever before. This results in vastly improved performance, lower power consumption, and a foundation for the next generation of artificial intelligence systems, quantum computing, advanced technologies, and even everyday consumer electronics. The global chip race is not just a matter of corporate profit. It's a race for control over the building blocks of the digital future. The company or nation that leads in chip technology will shape the direction of AI, cybersecurity, defense, and global economic influence. Until now, this race was tightly controlled, with the most advanced equipment, particularly EUV lithography machines, restricted by Western export controls. But national export output has expanded exponentially. These machines are considered essential for manufacturing chips at the 5NM level and below. The United States, in coordination with allies, has worked aggressively to prevent China from accessing this equipment in an effort to limit Beijing's ability to compete at the highest levels of chip fabrication. And yet, against all odds, reports now suggest that SMIC has successfully manufactured a 2NM chip without access to EUV. If confirmed, this would be nothing short of a paradigm shift. The question becomes, Experts now believe SMIC employed a complex, resource-intensive process known as multi-patterning using older DEV deep, deep ultraviolet lithography tools, which are still available to China. While this method is significantly slower, more expensive, and technically demanding than EUV-based approaches, it can, in theory, achieve similar results when paired with advanced design automation software, breakthroughs in material science, and next-generation packaging solutions. Essentially, SMIC may have constructed a painstakingly elaborate workaround to achieve what many believed to be out of reach. This is not simply a testament to engineering. It is a reflection of a national priority. China has made it abundantly clear that achieving semiconductor independence is not optional. It is essential. Massive state subsidies, strategic investments, and unwavering political will have fueled this drive. Unlike most companies in the West, Chinese firms in this space are operating under a national imperative. They are not just trying to compete, they are trying to survive in a system designed to exclude them from the cutting edge. The implications of this development go far beyond SMIC or the chip itself. NVIDIA, for example, is currently the undisputed leader in AI chips, with a market valuation that exceeds three trillion $800 billion zero cents as of mid-2025. Its Blackwell platform powers approximately 80% of cloud-based AI infrastructure, and its CUDA software has created a deeply entrenched ecosystem of developers and researchers around the world. Its dominance has felt unassailable. But that dominance rests on a key assumption, that no serious competitor could close the gap in chip manufacturing for years. SMIC's breakthrough calls that assumption into question. Even if it is not yet ready for large-scale production, the fact that it exists at all changes everything. It proves technical feasibility under conditions that were meant to prevent it. It exposes the limits of current sanctions, and it shows that innovation under pressure is not only possible, it may be accelerating. The global semiconductor industry is now in uncharted territory. 
For decades, Western companies and their allies have relied on a tightly controlled ecosystem where the most advanced nodes were only accessible through a select few channels. This system created stability, but it also bred complacency. Now, with China demonstrating that it can reach 2NM using tools it was never meant to succeed with, the entire architecture of the chip world is being destabilized, and the stakes are enormous. More advanced chips mean more powerful AI in smaller devices with greater energy efficiency. This could usher in a world of ubiquitous edge AI, where even everyday devices perform complex computations locally rather than relying on the cloud. Autonomous vehicles, defense drones, biomedical devices, and consumer electronics could all become smarter, faster, and more independent. It could also allow for highly advanced AI capabilities in regions with limited connectivity. If China manages to industrialize this 2M process, it could leapfrog Western companies in specific areas of AI hardware. Even with lower yields or slower throughput, being first to demonstrate capability can shift investment, talent, and geopolitical momentum. Countries that once saw China as a follower in chip tech may now reassess that view. Meanwhile, the geopolitical consequences are equally profound. If China achieves true independence in advanced semiconductor manufacturing, it undermines the very foundation of current U.S. export controls. It would enable China to continue building high-end AI and defense technologies even without access to Western tools or companies. It would also shift the strategic calculus around Taiwan, which is home to TSMC, the crown jewel of global chip manufacturing. A technologically self-sufficient China may feel emboldened, while the West may feel its ability to contain Beijing slipping away. We are likely witnessing the emergence of two parallel technological universes, two supply chains, two ecosystems, each developing independently and responding to a very different set of pressures. This fragmentation will bring with it new vulnerabilities, new opportunities, and new risks. The response across the industry has ranged from skepticism to panic. Some question whether Smike can produce these chips at scale or achieve acceptable yields. Others argue that even if the process is inefficient, the strategic importance of simply achieving it outweighs short-term limitations. The industry must now reckon with a future it did not expect. A future where competitors once thought to be years behind are now pulling even or even ahead in certain areas. In short, the rules have changed. This is no longer just a race between companies. It is a competition between systems, between openness and control, between old assumptions and new realities. It is about who builds the platforms on which future societies, economies, and militaries will run. As the dust settles, one thing is clear. The era of predictable semiconductor leadership is over. We are entering a volatile, unpredictable, and deeply contested new phase of the digital revolution. So now, the question turns to you. What do you make of this breakthrough? Can China truly achieve semiconductor independence? What does it mean for the future of AI and your own digital life? Your thoughts, your questions, and your insights matter. As the global tech war heats up, Public understanding and awareness will shape not only markets, but policies, alliances, and the future of innovation itself. If you've made it this far, you clearly understand the gravity of this moment. And this is just the beginning. The next breakthrough or disruption may already